Welcome, Brother Phil. So nice to see you, sister. At the time of this viewing, you are at the Trail of Tears on Chickasaw Nation territory in Tennessee in deep spiritual ceremony. Would you like to tell us about that? Yes, sister. You know, November 2nd through December 21st is a very, very special time in human history. Every time a huge spiritual change happens, at the time of the arising of an Abraham or a Jesus or a Muhammad or a Buddha or a Baha'u'llah, when these manifestations, these messengers of the creator come to humanity, there's always certain alignments in the stars. In our lifetime, in the lifetime of our parents and our grandparents, this has not occurred. From the best I can understand from the greatest of astrologers who understand astrological dimension of the universe, this last occurred in 1844 and 1853. It hasn't occurred since then, nor will occur again in our lifetimes for a while. This is the alignment of certain stars, for instance, that were seen, which the Zoroastrian astrologers, the Magi saw, for instance, at the birth of Jesus, when in fact, it was actually two stars that came together so closely, it seemed like this bright star from the East. But it's always happened because everything is interrelated in the universe. The stars, we are, in fact, you know, right in our hemoglobin, at the center of our hemoglobin are iron, which are only born in supernovas. So our entire being is a reflection of the stars, literal stars from supernovas. And so this period that will begin November 2nd, and as I'm sharing this, I'll be deep, deep, deep with relatives in a healing ceremony on Chickasaw Nation territory in Tennessee, right at the heart of the Trail of Tears. And we'll be praying there that this process that will begin on this day, I'm sharing this with you here, November 2nd through December 21st will be one of the most intensive times spiritually our human family has ever gone through in our memory in terms of ourselves and our parents and grandparents and those some generations yet to come after us. So we should prepare ourselves because this period is going to be very, very spiritually intense, very spiritually intense. And in fact, along with this, we are having from December 11th, through December 22nd, what we're calling enlightening our way together. A series of convergences during this time, concluding on December 22nd, as we step into a whole new era, a whole new day that shall not be followed by night, a time that we will see peace on earth begin before or on around 2030. But from what we're seeing, what we're facing, we have a choice to either do it sooner or later. The later, of course, comes with a tremendous, a lot of more suffering of our human family. But it's our choice because we are, you and I are, every human being is a spiritual representative of everyone who's gone before them. So everyone who's ever existed on the face of Mother Earth is right here together, right now, reflected in their spiritual representatives, which is each and every human being. And each and every one of us is a sovereignty, ancient and perishable and everlasting. 
And that's our true spiritual reality. And so the time of arising from our adolescence into our spiritual maturity is now, at this time. And so let us join our prayers today on November 2nd, however you might believe, to be able to pray for those relatives who are extreme poverty, over 150 million who have joined extreme poverty during these last months, while others have gained billions and billions upon dollars. So this is about balancing the extremes of wealth and poverty. It's about understanding the wings of humanity are two. The eagle has two wings. One is male and one is female until both wings of that eagle have equal power, respect, and honor. The eagle of humanity will never, ever soar to its long-promised height of glory. At the same time, once we understand the oneness, the prior unity and one is the human family, all forms of prejudice of whatever kind, having us feel better or less than another human being, it's completely unacceptable and must be eliminated. And as well, every human being, every human being has a right to clean water, has a right to a universal education for every human child. Because each of us is a sacred being. And so that is what we're praying for today. Right now, as I share this on Chickasaw Nation territory, we are going to go deeply, deeply, deeply into the heart of this pain and suffering and intergenerational trauma. Go deeply down, 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 down to the cauldrons of hurt and pain, but that the deepest is the grief, the unresolved grief, the tears, tears, because at the very heart is the water of the tears, the grief, and it goes beyond much deeper than the rage and anger and deep, deep fear and terror of what's happened. It's the heart of it, it's water, it's those tears, but it's not easy to get to. So we're gonna do work at it because we realize that it is time to become free and severed from all save our creator, from all save our higher power, to free ourselves from the past, to step into our new future as a newly awakened human family. And I wanna to share too, that while these times in the past have signalized the coming of a great, great sacred spiritual messenger. This is the time that Crazy Horse really pictured it so well. And this is the time of one heart and one mind in many bodies. That is, there's not just one spiritual umbilical cord opening up to transform the earth and all living things and the whole universe. In fact, now is the time for each of us to recognize we are spiritual umbilical cords from the spiritual world that bring in this time into this world of time and space, love and compassion and healing. And the degree we purify our own hearts and minds will be the degree we'll be able to be pure, a spiritual umbilical cords to transform this physical world of time and space, which is the destiny of our human family at this time. And it's long been promised and prophesied across the Americas in all our sacred prophecies and all sacred prophecies of all sacred traditions who teach love and respect, kindness and compassion. When Jesus said in the Lord's prayer, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven is exactly what's happening. And it's been the same message that's been brought to us over and over in our human history. And this is the time when all those sacred prophecies are being manifested. So, Sister, on November 2nd, when you share this, I ask you to share with me as we prepare ourselves for these coming days, these coming days of transformation, of deep, deep transformation. And those that cho chose to join us, choose to join, 
For those who choose to join us, wonderful. For those relatives who would like to see uh, how it turns out, that's wonderful too. But I can tell you, I look forward to visiting again on December 22nd. And we'll see what our beloved Wakantava, the Great Spirit, unfolds. My names are Shunkmaru and Chinupasapa. And I stand responsible for the Creator for my words and my action. Thank you, sister.